Are we ready to rumble? Ladies and gentlemen, in front of you, you see a screenshot. Mm -hmm. That's no ordinary screenshot. No, that in fact is the start of the GTA 6 trailer. Shall we watch it together one more time to see if you spot anything that, well, mm -mm, you might not have seen before? Here we go then. Oh! Oh! Lucia, do you know why you're here? I Bad know! Luck, I guess. Oh! Yeah! Rockstar Games presents, baby! Woo! Everglades, Miami Beach, she said she we got cigarettes, folks! Oh! She tried to make my I like this song, by the way. Can I say that? I really like this song. Wow, TikTok, alligators, not crocodiles. Man. Well, look who's back. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking wow. together, being a team. Did you see that car? Trust. Trust. Man, that's so cool, Mark. That's so cool. That's so cool. Why do we feel sorry for them? That's what I really wonder. That's what I wonder. Like, why do we feel sorry for these people? Or why do we think they're so cool? They're literally criminals. They're robbing a, a store at gunpoint. But it's a fictional th story, all right? It is Grand Theft Auto 6. Man, that was sick. Now, where were we? The breakdown, baby. Oh, yeah, look at me zooming around. Well, I'm not exactly zooming, am I? I'm, I'm just playing it backwards and forwards. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things happening here on the first scene. First of all, got a little birdies. Yeah, nobody cares. We got a big bird in the sky, too. That one right there. It leaves a beautiful chemtrail. What I can do in my piece of software is, in fact, zoom in. Should we give that a try? Should we give that a try? Watch this. Watch this. Now, I am live. Oh, whoa. Whoa, brother. Look at that aeroplane! Aeroplane! Alright, now, if you guys remember in GTA 5, when you see airplanes in the sky, you cannot actually hurt them. Right, they, they're kind of just flying around, pretending to be cool airplanes. Well, realistically, if you try to shoot them with a rocket, nothing happens. I hope, okay, I hope that one of the coolest things we could do is hijack planes. Can I say that? This is totally messed up. It's just a video game. It's just a video game, okay? Calm down. But we've got, it looks to me like a Boeing. We've clearly got four engines because it, to me it looks like anyway that these, uh, these are two engines on the right wing and two engines on the left wing. We've also got, it looks like four chemtrails, just saying. Um, what plane would that be? Well, it's not a 747 because then you would see a double-decker. Cool. Very informational. Uh, another thing I saw over here is a cigarette boat. Now, we have obviously already seen a cigarette boat in uh, the trailer, but I just thought this one was so cute. Driving by. Look at it. Look at it. Looking good. Looking good. Another thing we saw, and this one is very, very important. Behind the highway, if I zoom in slowly, okay? First of all, we've got a water treatment plant, all right? And if you look behind that, you clearly see one, two, three, four prison towers. Now, in case you forgot, the trailer is only one minute 30, but in case you forgot, in the next scene, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. watch this, watch this, watch this. We're going we're gonna to go ahead, we're going to go ahead. We've got... Barbed wire? Does that say anything to you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got cool birds flying over, but wait, I should talk about the second act scene. We're in the prison, baby! We are in that prison! Does anybody see me right now? 
<laughs> yes, good, good, good. Okay, cool. Uh, sometimes I still wonder if the stream is working properly or not, but thankfully it is. All right, cool, right? We've got the prison. And in this prison, we've got, we've obviously got Lucia. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine prisoners, including Lucia. Um, now, what I really enjoy is geography. So, Rockstar Games based GTA 6 on a real life location. And that location is obviously Miami. Everybody knew that, right? In case you didn't know, well, now you do. So, what Rockstar Games likes to do is recreate fictional places, or actually real places, and turn it into fiction. So the question is, can we find this prison, like for real? Can we find it in a map? Something like Google Earth, maybe? Should we have a try, okay? Now, <laughs> I've prepared myself here, okay? I, I've prepared myself here. Um, we're gonna go and uh, switch to this scene, bloop. Wow, wow, look at that. You can see that, right? I think you can. We have Google Earth, everybody. This right here is Miami, okay? We've got Miami Beach. Look how detailed this is, by the way. Like you can zoom in all the way to their little umbrellas, all right? We can see, whoa, skyscrapers with pretty good amount of detail, right? We're gonna figure out a lot of things here, guys. Um, and like I said, would we be able to find that prison? Now, I think we can. The question is, in my opinion, okay, it looks like that prison was located on an island. Is the real life prison still located on the island? Well, I don't know, but I did tell you that we saw a water treatment plant right in front of it. Now, okay, you don't have to be stupid to look this up, but we've got a cool little island right over here. And what do I see? What do I see? Central District Wastewater Treatment Plant with, oh, water tanks, baby. This is what Rockstar Games ba based the game on. We've got skyscrapers in the background, pretty close as well. We've got the harbor. So you're probably gonna see harbor there in GTA 6 as well. Uh, it, it's just that we haven't seen the harbor in GTA 6, but hey, you can expect it to be around this area, just saying. But the question is, do we see the prison? In fact, I don't. No, I don't see the prison here. If I scroll around a little bit, I don't see a prison. Do you see a prison? Uh, if I look at the island nearby, Fisher Island, uh, I still do not see a prison. So, my conclusion would be is that this is in fact the water treatment center that they uh, recreated because you've got the highway system, you've got the marine bay, you've got you know plenty of spaces for that cigarette boat, you've got the skyline in the backdrop, but that prison came from somewhere else. Now, <clears throat> I don't know which prison it is, all right? I, I don't have the answers, but if I type in prison, <clears throat> we can see a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of prisons, okay? We've got a de de uh, detention center right here in the center. That is a skyscraper, it's probably not that one. We've got another detention center right over here. No towers, just saying, no towers, all right? We've got another de de detention, detention, uh, de detention center right here. <laughs> Uh, and so we've got a bunch of other ones. Now, there is one on the south side over here that has some towers. Uh, they're not similar to the ones in game. So I don't know what that tells me. But, uh, you know, they, they definitely... Ooh, look at you, look at here. I uh, know. Still no towers, though. So no proper towels, right? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Basketball court. Oh, these have towers. Yeah, Google Earth hasn't loaded them. But you can see one, two... Uh, pr probably three, four, five, six towers. See, this could be, this could be it. We don't know for sure. Will we ever know? I don't know. But it's pretty cool that we can find things out like that, isn't it? All right, now let's go back to Vegas, shall we? Vegas, Vegas. Uh, does that work? Bleep, bleep, bleep. There we go. Now, we've talked about the prison. We've talked about the first scene. Uh, there's really not much to it. I also don't want to go too in-depth. Like, there's a lot of things we don't know. But these birds, could they be the flamingo that we saw in, uh, in, in, in further scenes? Also, by the way, just last note, 
does look like a little sports center over here, which is clearly inside of the prison. Now, the one I just showed you on Google Earth had a basketball court in the dead center of it. All right. Now, moving on. We're just going to continue. We've got a little shot over here with. Uh, do you know why you're here? Do, do you know why you're here? Do you know why you're here? I know why I'm here. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why you're here? I know I'm here because I want you to press those buttons. Subscribe to the channel right now. Come on, you can do it. It's not that hard. Now, uh, this is actually a reference to the first GTA 5 trailer ever released. I'm not even kidding. I don't know if I can pop it up. Uh, it's going to be a little bit challenging to pop this up. Can I give it a try? Can I give it a try? Uh, how am I going to do this? All right. First, we're going to go to this scene. A baby dee 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 doo Ha ha! I'm gonna pop up something for you guys to enjoy, okay? Now don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to wait too long. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be epic. Uh, it was a piece of content released uh, 12 years ago. <laughs> Man, that is a long time ago. Shall we have a look at it? This right here is the GTA 5 trailer from 12 years ago. By the way, it has 100 million views in 12 years. The new one, all right, the GTA 6 trailer has 86 million views, 89, in 23 hours. <laughs> that just shows how big this game is. Now, are you new here? Listen to this, guys, listen to this. I guess it was the one. Oh. Why did I move here? Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. It's clearly a reference. Are you new here? And what, what else did you say? What else did you say? Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Bad luck, I guess. I guess the weather's pretty terrible in Miami. I mean, it's not. We've got a lot of sunshine hours, but also a lot of rain and hurricanes. Which, by the way, are there hurricanes in GTA 6? I don't know. I just thought that this was a pretty crazy reference. In my opinion, it's a reference. Some people might not agree with that. But I think it clearly is. I think it's clearly a reference. Let's keep going, all right? There's not much to see here other than a little bit of chit-chat. We got a printer. Uh, we do have a badge, but if we zoom into that badge, I don't think we're going to see much, guys. All right? Let me have a look here. Cool badge. Cool badge. Yeah, I was hoping we could see, like, I don't know, some special information. But, yeah, I don't think we can. And then we've got some, uh, some uh, well, pictures here in the background. They... Do not look sharp at all. Now, because I am an absolute wizard, if I just use a couple of tools, I might be able to sharpen this up. Should I give it a shot? Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Do you see that at all? <laughs> Do you see? No, I don't think you see that at all. Yeah, no, that's that's just that's just really, really hard to even touch. But I think we're looking at a couple picture here. This one on the right, this is actually the first time I'm seeing this, reminds me of another shot. Okay? Look at this yellow t-shirt over here. With it's it's clearly family. Hmm. If we go back to that same trailer, okay, can we find that same shot? Oh, we like the kids on TV dance. I think we can. There was a similar shot. I might be, I might, I might be stretching it here. I might be stretching it here. It could be a reference. It could be not. There was, I believe, a similar shot with a yellow sweater, but um, it might have been another trailer. Um, this is a little family though, but this is GTA 5. Uh, but it's probably not the same family now, is it? All right. Should we continue on the trailer breakdown? We're gonna zoom out again. Boop. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is everybody still enjoying this? If you are, obviously, you got to hit that like button, guys. Got to hit that like button. Let's go. Nice. 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 Everybody's listening so well. You guys are too kind. You guys are too kind. All right. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. You're here. Bad luck. Got a little painting behind her. Cool. Just a little sailboat. Looks like Norway. Just saying. Oh, a little picture down here as well. Uh, but I don't think these are any clues. We got a little, uh, we got a little vest here. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Let's keep going. Good luck, I guess. Next scene. Oh, that one is such a revealer. We're gonna go through it frame by frame. Bad luck, I guess. We see a boat 
or immediately. Okay, I'm gonna just sharpen the shot. There we go, that looks really good. Now, do you see anything in the water? <laughs> I do. I see one, two, three, four dolphins. Do you see those? <laughs> four little dolphins swimming in the sea. And I see something else. Something else that's pretty scary looking. This thing right over here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big, great white shark. Definitely. You can see the fin sticking out. In case you can't, I will zoom in for you. It is definitely the fin sticking out. Watch that. Watch that. Oh, you see that? Clearly a fin. Clearly a shark. In case you didn't see the little dolphins, I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out. Look at that. Look at that. They're so cute. They're so cute. Let's keep going. So we know there's a shark. We see another boat. I think this is a similar boat from uh, GTA 5. At least I recognize it. We also see at the top left a jet ski. Another jet ski. Uh, we've got another shark, I think. And another jet ski. Three jet skiers and a ton of birds. People in the water. Okay, they're just chilling there. Looks like we got some rocks. I hope they're not sharks. Um, and then a beautiful beach. Wow, look at all of that detail. All right, we got pink umbrellas, yellow umbrellas. We've got blue and white umbrellas. Remember those? Because we're gonna see a similar shot later. Uh, we've got some skyscrapers here, which to be honest, we could try and find. I've actually been in Miami myself. Um, so I'm just looking around. We've got a harbor over here. You see, I talked about the harbor earlier, and clearly I was right. We expected the harbor on that location, and we found one. All right? That's, that's, that's another one. That's a great find. Let's have a quick look here. I can see a crane in the distance. I can see a helicopter in the distance. We can see a bunch of skyscrapers. But more importantly, I just want to see if I can find myself this building right here or this building. It's got a little bit of a curve into it on the beach, sitting on a rock. Okay, okay. I mean, I think we'll be able to find that. What do you guys think? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, no, not be right back. Jeez, what am I doing? All right, let's have a look here, let's have a look. Let's go to Google Earth again. Google Earth. Woo, and we're in Google Earth, baby. Google Earth. Um, <clears throat> so, that building we were talking about, huh? That building. Should we be able to find it? What do you guys think? Where would it be exactly? I'm just checking a couple things real quick. Bleep, bloop, bloop, bloop. <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean, I think we could find it. Um, now, we gotta remember, all right? We have a ton of buildings here. It's just not going to be that easy, but I think I already found it. Boom, just like that, all right? Just like that. We've got a circular building standing on a rectangular surface. We've got a rectangle building with three yellow lines, okay? A couple of uh, pools. That looks pretty cool. Uh, and clearly, to the left of us, a giant park. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's, that's what we saw. That's what we saw. Watch this, watch this. Ooh, okay. We've got three yellow lines, circular rectangle building. <clears throat> so clearly they removed that other building which was to the left of it. This one, this one they simply just didn't build in the game, I guess. Um, but they did decide to leave in the park, which is great. Now, I'm just looking behind us, okay? We've got, we've got those umbrellas, but let's look behind these skyscrapers. We can clearly see um, downtown. What if we compare that to the real life downtown then? Oh, that is far away. That is far away. Yeah, you can clearly see <clears throat> that in GTA 6, they only built up the right side of the beach and these left side skyscrapers, well, I don't think will exist in the game. Simply, these are gonna be residential areas with housing. And we're talking about big houses, like some like these, like cool houses, all right? And then we'll have a couple of islands in between, including the harbor that we also saw, remember? We can see the harbor in the background right there. 
Um, and then talking about the skyscrapers. Now, Miami has a bunch of really crazy skyscrapers, but also some not so crazy ones. There's Some of them are a little bit old and ugly as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find those skyscrapers just by looking at uh, Google Maps. Oh, I can see this uh, angular one right over here. That one's really easy. The angular one, that gives us a good base. That is definitely this one. 100%. 100%. So, it kind of looks like, all right, just remember where that building is. Just keep an eye on it. If we zoom out, <laughs> it really looks extremely realistic. I mean, remember, this building right over here <laughs> is this one. It's extremely realistic. It's crazy. I'm actually impressed, man. I'm so impressed. Um, so what about those umbrellas then? Okay, we've got blue, yellow, pink. Now, I know for a fact that they have uh, uh, been there in real life. Like the, the Rockstar developers have gone to the actual locations and looked at which umbrellas they use on specific locations. And, uh, and trust me, they copy them. Uh, we do have the blue and white over here, which I think we're gonna have to keep. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on, okay? And yellow as well, yellow and blue and white. But that might just be a coincidence. That might just be a coincidence. However, I don't think it is, because just just look at this logo over here, okay? It says it's a B and there's two outlines in real life. Now, I might be going a little bit too far ahead, but in one of the next beach shots. You're going to be able to see that exact same thing. Should we continue? Because we're only 10 seconds into the trailer. This is crazy. Also, by the way, look at all the details. We've got two quads over here. Got a car. This looks like a nice pickup truck. Not a cyber truck, though. I wish that was in the game. Oh, 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 by the way, by the way. The little plane. I almost didn't talk about that. Yeah. That little plane right here. Uh, you probably missed that one as well. Now, this, this plane right here has a lot of detail. We've got a little, like, seaplane, all right? This one can land on water. It's carrying a banner that says 919Y69 when you can 919. Now, this is a reference to a club in Miami, okay? Which basically means that this uh, plane is pulling an advertisement for a club in GTA 6. And the club is called 919. How do I know that? Well, just believe me, okay? It's a club. We haven't seen the club, or maybe we have. There are a couple of screenshots or, or trailer screens from clubs. It might, be, it might be one of those. I just realized another thing that I haven't seen before yet. It looks like the, the tallest towers are on the right side over here. Ooh, this, these, these look really good as well. We've got one with a, with a round top. We've got like something like a triangular one. Okay, we, it looks like we have a couple of taller buildings on the other side, but definitely some of those central islands. Let's have a quick look at that cent, uh, at that round top one, shall we? So can we find that, you think? A rounded top. We go to the exact other side, and at first glance, I do not see a round top. Would it be over at this side, perhaps? Ooh, this is a really tall tower over here. But no round top. Now, don't worry. It definitely exists. It might take a little bit of... Oh, wait. I think I found it. <laughs> I think I found it. Yeah. That's it right there. That'll be it. Yep. We've got two back, back to back as well. Oh, yeah. That's, that's literally it. We've got two back to back. <laughs> so, does that mean that these towers over here are the same? Uh, let's have a look. Do we have that tall one or... Yeah, the tall one is over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, Rockstar Games and their detail, man. D do you believe this? D do you guys believe how detailed this game is? It's crazy. I'm in love with this game already and I haven't even bought it yet. We can see a couple of more things in the background. Um, oh, 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 oh. More chemtrails that I quickly want to zoom in on. Four chemtrails. Could be that similar, that same plane that we uh, talked about earlier today. Also, here's the heli uh, and some more non-interesting thing. We've got some terraces over here. It looks like a fine dining area. Oh, wait. Oh, I see something. I recognize something. This is from uh, GTA Vice City. I don't know the name of it. I don't know the name of it. But uh, if my friend is watching, I'm going to have to ask him. Do you know the name 
so this is a really, really famous building. I actually don't know where it is in real life, but again, we're just going to go back to that exact same location, and there it is. There it is. This is the exact same strip. Very famous one. Crazy. The Rainbow Walk. I love this. I love this. All right. Let's continue because we got so many scenes to do. Boom, boom, boom. 919 Rockstar Games presents another skyscraper with... Oh, my God. Look at this in the background, guys. Something you definitely missed. Definitely. 100% you missed this. There's a hole in the ceiling. Can you imagine flying through that with the plane? Like, isn't that going to be fun? Isn't that going to be absolutely epic? Um, this building, I don't know which, which one it is. I can see that it has a rooftop terrace. I think there will be a pool party there. You can see a couple of people standing there. That's kind of funny. Do they Are they cleaning or what are they doing exactly? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Ocean View Hotel. It's where Tommy lives at first in Vice City. So uh, that's that's that place we talked about, guys. <clears throat> Ocean View Hotel. It's uh, it's an old residential place from GTA Vice City. Uh, Tommy, the main character, lived there. Look at this. Ocean View Hotel. There it is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, let's continue where we were. We left off here. We found this other uh, building. I do recognize it. I've been to Miami. But um, I think this is in downtown. This is not on the beach side because we've got a couple of other skyscrapers. Oh, wait a minute. That skyscraper, that skyscraper right there also rings a bell. Hmm, I don't know. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Something I do like, though, is that that plane <laughs> with chemtrails keeps coming back. Four chemtrails. Why do we have four engines on all the planes? Also, look at all these terraces, by the way. We've got plants on them. Now, don't expect to um, to be able to go into all of these interiors, okay? There's definitely going to be a lot of interiors, and it looks like they've definitely upgraded their interior engine, but I don't think we can actually access all of these interiors, okay? It's uh, something that other games, such as Spider-Man, has been doing as well, uh, but it's going to be sick regardless. Here we've got the Everglades with... I actually forgot the name of this vehicle, I've been on one myself. Um, I just, I'm just trying to think of it. Is it an air, uh, airboat? What is it called again? Maybe you guys can help me. But it's extremely popular in the Everglades. Um, <clears throat> in fact, this is one of the only ways you can transport yourself around in the Everglades. It's basically got a plane engine on the back, and it is thrusting you forwards. And apart from that, there's not nothing much to say about this. It's obviously in the Everglades, which, by the way, okay. Now that we're here on Google Earth, it's right next to Miami. This is the Everglades, and uh, this is where you can go around in those in those big old machines. Uh, I've been here. Look, there's like little there's little roads. All right, you see those? They look like river roads. <clears throat> well, that's where you go with those cars. In fact, you can go pr basically everywhere because it's just water. But yeah, Sawgrass Recreation Park. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there you have one. There you have one. You see? They're very popular. I've been on one as well. And if you live in Miami, you probably have been too. <laughs> Once in your life. It's, a, it's something you do. It's something you do. All right. Flamingos. I don't know the exact type of flamingo. I also don't really care about the exact type of flamingo. But they look cool. They look really cool. They're beautiful. We got a little duck over here. Uh, also, in case you haven't spotted it, there's a little gator over there. All right. Watch this. Watch this. There's an alligator. You see him? You see him? <laughs> it's a hidden alligator. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Also, I'm really curious to see whether we're going to get big snakes. Like, huge snakes. Because there are some nasty ones in uh, the Everglades. Also, another alligator over here. Some other beautiful birds that are not flamingos. Yo, those birds are just prey, man. Good thing they got wings. I hope they can fly quick. Also, what do we got back here? Is that a deer? I don't, I don't know if there's deer in the Everglades. But we've got something like it. More crocodiles. I mean, alligators. They're not crocodiles. Let's keep going. This is going really well, though. This is going really well. This is a crazy breakdown. All right. Frame by frame. Do you see anything new? There was basically nothing new there, right? 
I think there was a little, another little animal over there in the bush. I think Rockstar Games is just really trying to show everybody that, well, hey, guys, look, we put a lot of work into making the surrounding feel realistic. Well, and I wouldn't expect anything less Rockstar Games. I waited 10 years for this game. Here we got the beach again. Now, I will say one thing, okay? The beach looks a lot more crowded in this screenshot. This is not a complaint, but then in this screenshot, okay? If you look at the amount of people, we got a lot of people laying on the beach, but if we look here, I feel like it's triple the amount of people. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But whew, in front of us, we've obviously got skyscrapers, okay? One in the background, a beautiful one. I can probably easily find the uh, Google Earth, but not really a priority right now. We've got a little uh, lifeguard car. We've got some more buildings. I'm, uh, by the way, really wondering if we're going to see, uh, it's not Miami, but it is Florida, if we're going to see Disney, all right? Can we see Disney World? Can we at least see a theme park of some sort? I would really think that would be sick. Uh, I hope they wouldn't put too much attention on it, but, uh, or well, I guess, I guess I hope they would, but it doesn't have to be crazy big. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. If we zoom up up here, what do we see? A water landing heli. Yep. I think one got released in GTA 5 as well later on in the game. Ooh, another plane, by the way. Uh, but uh, water landing heli. Here we've got a regular heli. I think this is a news broadcaster, not a police heli. And in the background, we have another heli. Looks like there's a lot of air traffic. Uh, we're gonna definitely going to be crashing into some of those things while we're flying around. Just saying. Um, oh! Here I want to talk about these umbrellas, all right? Remember how I said <clears throat> blue and white umbrellas with some kind of outlined letter? Well, if we zoom in on Google Earth and we go back to Miami Beach, all right, watch this. This is, in fact, a very famous umbrella. I don't know the name of it, but can we drop here on Google Earth? This is going to be risky. This is going to be really risky. <laughs> Uh, can we see the goo can, can we see the umbrellas? Ooh, oh, okay. It's not the exact same. It's not the exact same, but we got the Butcher Brothers, blue and white. Uh, it's not the same. It's not the same. There is one that is a little bit similar, but I don't know the exact location of it. I don't know the... Ooh, would it be this one then? This is risky. This is risky. This is risky. I'm just quickly clicking here in case of anything. <laughs> hey, this is Google Earth in the end, you know? This is Google Earth. All right. All right. We good. We good. We good. Uh, can't find it. Can't find it. It definitely exists, though. There's, there's literally an exact same one. Uh, but uh, it's, not, it's not of a huge importance right now. It's not. Okay. Trailer. We basically understand that Rockstar Games is really trying to put a lot of effort into everything. Uh, another thing you might have missed, guys. I'm going to zoom into it, and you're going to say, woo, cute. It's a little chihuahua. Yeah, you got a little doggy here running loose. It looks like he's got a lead. Uh, the lead is just hanging on, kind of. But, uh, yeah, it looks cool. Looks cool. That's a cool detail. We've also got... Uh, Someone recording an interesting TikTok. Just saying. Cool. All right. Should we move on? Should we move on? There's so many more things to see, guys. There's so many more things to see. This is a good shot, though. It's a really cool shot. Should I quickly have a look at that skyscraper? Okay, we got... I'm just, I just keep getting distracted with these skyscrapers. Does it exist there? Let's have a look. Is it this one? Ooh, no. It's not this one. Oh, we would have definitely made him find that one. Is it this one? Oh, no, it's not that one. I don't know if um, <clears throat> that skyscraper is from the actual location in real life. But that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. Let's keep going. Next shot. Cigarette boats. This one uh, is interesting because we can finally see the harbor. So we definitely know where this is, all right? This is close, decently close to the prison that Lucia is uh, supposedly uh, like in and has to probably escape from. The cigarette boats, guys, exist in GTA V, so it's nothing, um, it's nothing too crazy. But they still look cool. We got two people in this one. 
We've got one which is kind of like uh, different shaped. It has a, uh, a different shaped hull. We've got a cargo boat that says BTN Delmar. Um, I don't know what that means. We do have Jetmax, which is a brand we have seen in, um, I believe, GTA 5. So we've got some references of the old games, you know? Skyscrapers in the background with another jet at the top. I don't get it. Why does every scene need a jet? I don't. I really don't get it. This bridge is pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely a highway with, ooh, what do we got over there? Some antennas. Or is that a toll place? Can we find that? Can we find that? I don't know where this bridge would be. Uh, it definitely seemed like a decently tall bridge. I'm just having a look on Google Earth for a couple of bridges to see if we can find similarities. Now, I think we're going to have to go a little bit lower down to Miami. All right. That's a pretty tall bridge. Nah, bro. Nah, I don't know. I, this is... Oh! I mean... We need to look around the harbor area, right? So the harbor is right here, but there is no bridge south. Or, well, there's one. Could it be this one? Ooh, that one's tall. That one is tall. Do we have one of those um, odd-looking things? Those odd-looking structures. We do have Miami downtown in the background. I'm just going to have a quick browse here, guys. Quick browse. Quick browse. No, I don't think I can see it. I don't think I can see it. Well, it is most likely one of these bridges, though, obviously. Uh, I mean, this one is close to the harbor, so it only makes sense. Could it be a toll booth? Is this toll? Do we have toll in Miami? I actually don't know for sure. But it could be a toll booth that we see on the screenshots. Uh, cool. Oh, this one? Ooh, no, I don't see it either. I don't see it either. Uh, well, we've seen, we've had a lot of luck today. We've had a lot of luck. Sometimes. Oh, wait, what's up? Kayla's my boy. Kayla's my boy is here. Hey, man, we just browsing. We browsing the trailer, Kayla's. And we just, uh, you know, we just, we just finding out things. Let me know if you know anything that I should know, Kayla's. Huh? What did he say? Hi, Jelly. We should race in GTA. Bro, we should race in GTA 5, man. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Kayla's, is there anything that you know that I don't? All right, here we go. We got the next scene. In the next scene, we can clearly see some directions, all right? This one's kind of interesting because it, uh, it confirms a big airport. Vice City International Airport with Kelly County. I wish I said Jelly County. Just saying. That would have been a whole lot sicker. But we got we got we to gotta live with Kelly County. Stockyard downtown. That's obviously, uh, at least I think, uh, like downtown near the harbor. Stockyard, I think. I don't know. We got a cool club looking in the background. Now, I'm not much of a clubbing guy. I think Kayla's is. Kayla's is watching the live stream. Kayla's, you recognize that? You recognize that club? <laughs> also, another thing I saw, which is pretty cool, definitely based on a real-life building, is this building with that's kind of like, it's got a hole in the middle of it. Like, I, I've never seen that before. Oh, by the way, this is definitely some kind of stadium. We've got a parking lot. That's a stadium for sure. Um, anyway, yeah, so, a building with a hole in the middle, bro? Where the hell is, where's that supposed to be? I don't know about any buildings with a hole in the middle. Alright, so, remember, we saw signs about the airport. Now, the real-life airport is, um, yeah, west of downtown. <laughs> it's a big one. Now, in real life, in GTA 6, it's definitely going to be a little closer. So, let me just have a quick browse around here. Can we find a building with a hole in it? I'm not even sure Google or Google Earth can do that. Can Google Earth do that? Can we put holes in buildings here? Maybe we got to look a little bit more towards a highway section or an arena, right? I did mention that that thing we saw is probably... Ooh, we do have an arena over here. It's probably something like an arena. So if we find... Ooh! We have a tiny little hole in that one. I don't even know if we can count that as a hole. <laughs> oh! What is that? What is that? Is that a hole, bro? Is that a hole in that building and, and, and Google Earth just won't, like, load it in? 
Yes! We have definitely found it. We have definitely found it. Look, hole in a building. All right. Um, so what about that arena then? What about that arena? Do we know which arena that is? Now, there was an arena right next to this place. Let me just have a quick look. Oh, yeah, it's definitely this one. Uh, it looks better in GTA 6, I, I guess. But here we've got the highway. I mean, the shot is on a highway. They're definitely crossing this bridge. That's really cool, though. Now, it could be a different arena that they put there. Just saying. But uh, they put it somewhat in the right location. So that is that is neat. That is neat, bro. That is neat. All right, let's continue. Uh, also, I want to mention, I don't know what this car is. I said I did. I, I lied. I don't know what that car is. What is that? Looks like we got like a head over there. Um, I do recognize it though. Could it be some kind of Lotus? The Miami Heat Basketball Arena from NBA. Should we have a quick look? Let's have a quick look. Oh, oh yeah, that's that one. That's that one. So yeah, it is, it is a big, it's a big center. It's a big center. Heat Nation. Good, good, good. Now, another thing we see here is obviously um, this car that Lucia is sitting in. Do we have Jason over here? We do have Jason over here. I don't know what car that is. It looks rather boxy. Could it be the Tesla Roadster? Imagine we got that one. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's continue. We got some low riders, bro. Um, I'm not surprised seeing low riders. You know, it's, it's just a... It's just an, a fun thing to always add to every single GTA game. Now, <clears throat> these lowriders do have a lot of customization, all right? There's also a guy here leaning against this green car. Uh, I think we've got a gang symbol on this car. It looks like we've got some type of Instagram tag on it. Uh, we're obviously going to see a bunch of social media things, 27 inches. That's clearly the size of his. Wheels, everybody. Clearly the size of his wheels. <laughs> um, also, it says something RIP on the back. 315 RIP. I don't know. It's a reference to something, I guess. But I guess we won't know for a while what it is. Rolls Royce Cullinan. Car over here. It's a beautiful car. Expensive car. Uh, one of the most comfortable ones you can possibly get. Um... We got a little sign here. I guess it's a, uh, you know, it just says it will tow. It will tow you away if you park there. Well, people park there anyway. Um, I don't know this area, <clears throat> but people are definitely going to be able to find this area uh, because we've got some text over here, some colorful paint. I don't think this will be very difficult to find. Maybe you guys in the comment section can help me out right now. Where could this possibly be? Is there some kind of art uh, center, like an art street? I'm just going to call it art street. Let's see what pops up. This is really close to that, but it looks destroyed. Mm. Art. <laughs> Bro, it's too easy, man. It's too easy. This looks quite similar. We've got two eyes. Let's keep an eye out for those things. Um, Rockstar Games really likes their, to base their games on actual things. But here we've got something to me what looks like <clears throat> resembles this area, okay? Look at the carport. Look at all the buildings. Yeah, we've got Art District. Graffiti District. Uh, which I have heard of in, in while I was in Miami. So uh, it's, it's awesome to see that Rockstar Games listens. And, uh, you know, puts it in their own game. Oh, my God. A bakery. That looks... That looks very familiar. That looks extremely familiar, bro. Ood. Ood. We got a black door. Bakery. It's a famous bakery, too. Should it be this one? <clears throat> Would it be this one? I mean, uh, chances are pretty high. Chances are pretty high that we are looking at the right thing. 
couple of other things over here. <clears throat> I'm looking for those eyes. Can we find those eyes? So if we quickly go back to GTA 6, uh, it should be two blocks down. Uh, we've got, oof, the sun is quite high above. I wouldn't know my way around. I wouldn't know my directions. We've got a parking lot in the background. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, it's not a parking lot. It's that building. <laughs> Bro, this game's too easy. Can we find those eyes? Okay, remember, graffiti constantly changes, all right? People put new artworks up. So I don't know when these uh, images were taken. So there is a good chance they're gone by now. Or that Rockstar Games created their own because, well, graffiti does change a lot. But it's cool to see that we can easily find locations. Easily. Easily. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Obviously, obviously, next up, we've got a club. Um, I wouldn't know where this is. It just says, make it rain Mondays. And we've got bottle service, which is definitely going to cost a lot. Just saying, just saying. Let's get to the next one. We've got a scene where two bros are giving each other a handshake. <laughs> that is, that's a good way to describe it. He's got a nice watch on his wrist, some jewelry inside of his mouth. Gold chain, billboard in the background. I like to look at the background. It looks like someone's put their um, someone's put their furniture on the road. You definitely missed that one, didn't you? Okay. Cool bandana. All right, next up. Yeah, we got toll booths, guys. We got toll booths. We have got toll booths. Let's have a look here. Um. I mentioned toll booths because Miami has these as well. At least I think they're toll booths. There's something like it. People have to drive through a little machine to, I assume, pay. This is going to be a thing, guys. There could be... The Rockstar Games has done this before in their games. There could be that we have to unlock areas inside of GTA 6. If that's the case... It could be that we simply don't have certain areas unlocked right from the bat, and we have to unlock that uh, area by playing the story. Using toll booths is a smart way to do that. Okay, moving on. On the left side, we've got a bunch of boats. They're just chilling. We've got a beautiful residential area. You can see a couple of pools, beautiful light. We've got a little uh, tennis area. We've got a parking lot. It is the United States. Um... Is that a cyber truck, bro? <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that car? <laughs> bro! What is that boxy looking thing? Why is it colored like that? White at the bottom, black at the top. Looks a little odd. Bike lanes! We haven't seen any bikes yet. But yeah, bikes are definitely making it to GTA 6. And it looks like... It looks like that's, that's, that's one of them. Um... Or a bike lane, anyway. A cool yacht in the background. A big one. This one looks like a... Uh, 150 feet, I would say. That's my guess. It's a nice big boat. Not the biggest I've ever seen. It's not a flex, but, uh, you know, they float on water. and They're not hard to spot. <laughs> uh, let's have a look here. We've got an interesting shaped building. It is on an island. I'm going to take a sip of my water, guys. My mouth is so dry. Now, we are on an island here. This island is obviously placed between Miami Beach, which I believe we've got in the background. Okay, this I think this is Miami Beach. I know exactly where those two towers are with them, um, with them lit up triangle at the top, all right? I think I can find those easily. Um, we've got a helipad at the top of this building. Interesting. So we got Miami Beach in the background. And in the foreground, we've got an island with a skyscraper apartment complex on it. Can we find that sky skyscraper? I think we can. In fact, I can probably do it in uh, two minutes. The question is, which island is it going to be? Is it going to be this one? <laughs> it's too easy. That's the one. That's the one. All right. We've got a central road. Oh, we even, oh, it's called Venetian 
Causeway? Biscayne Island. Ooh, beautiful. Um, here we got the toll booth. That was this one. We got one, two, three, four lanes in GTA 6. And in real life, we've also got four lanes. We got we even got the green bike lanes, bro. Green bike lanes. Speed limit 25 miles per hour. Do we have that in GTA 6? Miles per hour. This game is so detailed. This game is incredibly detailed. Like, if you can say that this game looks bad. Hello. Go check yourself, man. This game looks insane. We've got the tennis court I mentioned. The parking lot. Can we find that that same car? Probably not. All right. This is a good idea. Google Maps is scary. Can we find that same car? Can we find that same ugly car? No, no, no. Cars move around, guys. That would be unrealistic. That would be that would be uncalled for. That would be uncalled for. <laughs> Obviously, these are, are multi-million dollar homes, all right? We've got houses here with pools and yachts in front of it. Um, <clears throat> we're definitely going to be able to purchase some of those housings. Ooh, does it look like it connects there? Is there a bridge there? I think there might be a bridge there. This, this island is an exact replica. Wait, no, never mind. It skips the middle one. It skips the middle one. It goes to one of these wider ones for a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> interesting, <clears throat> interesting, interesting. Sorry, I do have a little bit of a cold. I am kind of struggling here. Uh, but if you are, was gifted membership. Wow, That's so kind. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you are uh, enjoying the stream, guys, obviously press on the like button. Press on that subscribe button. Help your boy out, man. Help your boy out. Okay, shall we continue? This was a crazy scene. That was a good scene. Woohoo. Okay, uh, I'm just having a quick look. Um, my friend is telling me that this is Starfish Island from GTA Vice City. Big mansions on it, kind of gated. And in v GTA, Vice, GTA Vice City, sorry, Tommy got a big mansion here at the end of the game, okay? So um, we've seen this island before. We've seen this island before. That's good, that's good. All right, let's continue then. Oh. Those two triangle towers. Should we quickly have a look if we can find them? So, realistically, they should be here, but they're going to be more towards the left, and there they are. Iconic. You see, iconic buildings like these, Rockstar Games likes to put in the game. They look good. They look iconic. Oh, by the way, another iconic building, which is not on Miami Beach, but it is a little bit more north. Um... I forgot the name of it. It's the it's the Trump House. What's his name? What's the name again? Uh, Mar 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 -a Lago. I don't know. I forgot. Is it here? I forgot. I forgot where he lives. He's got a house here somewhere. Okay, he's got a house here. Now, it would be very rock star. Okay, to include that house. Just saying. Just saying. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can try to find it as well. Can you guys help me out? What's the what's the house called again? What's the house called again? The, the house where Trump lives in Florida. It's also a uh, vacation resort, so it's not nothing creepy or anything. Uh, by the way, another plane in the background. Like, what's with all these planes, guys? Come on, man. Whoo, here we are back on Boardwalk. Uh, we have seen Boardwalk in daylight before. Um, in case you missed that, that was at the start of the trailer. In fact... I think it was one of the first scenes. It was one of the beach, the beach ones where you can see the sharks. mar o lago There you go. mar o lago Thank you. Um, I think we can see Ocean View Hotel. We can see Neptune here. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a restaurant chain. Um, talking about cars, okay. Obviously, a very cool car, which is uh, actually one of the... It's, it's, it's a GTA classic. It's based on a Ferrari. It's called the Cheetah. You can, you can see it right here. Cheetah. We've also got a Porsche. These Porsches are looking really, really sharp in the game. Um, I can't remember the name of what Porsches were called in GTA. Fister? No, I don't. I don't remember. It's something like that. Uh, this guy over here, he's got an animal on his shoulder. Looks like a chameleon. All right. Oh, by the way, that blue car is over there is, is really nice as well. There's red car, definitely Ferrari, a Ducati bike. Ooh, also, I spotted <coughs> a Lamborghini Aventador SV in the backdrop. Just driving by. It's a Lamborghini Aventador SV. It's not an SVJ, I think. 
Yeah, it's an SV because the wing's floating. The wing's floating. Um, cool car. We got a lot of supercars in this game, man. We got a lot of supercars. Anything else I can talk about? Hotel Dixon. Got some flags. Okay. Red, white. Blue, red. I don't know those flags. I don't think they're going to resemble um, <clears throat> real life flags. Ocean View Hotel in the backdrop. We already knew that. Anything else to talk about in the scene? We have talked about a lot. Oh, again, social media in this game is huge. This guy is taking a um, video of cars. That's what he's doing. He's probably posting on YouTube, just like me. That's pretty cool. All right, should we move on to the next scene? Oh, a little fire here, by the way. A little, little uh, you know, restaurant fire. What do you call it? A little heater. Next scene. Oh, that is definitely a beautiful SV. Uh, in a club. Could this be 919? We don't know. We will not find out for a while. Um, it looks pretty good, though. Looks pretty cool. It definitely has... It, it like it has too many references to not be a real life club. This is definitely based on a real life club. I just don't know which one. All right, now we're moving on to the keys. Now, in case you don't know what the keys are, in case you aren't a uh, pro like me, all right, geography nerd, the keys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. The keys are uh, over here at the bottom of uh, Florida, and the keys are basically small little islands. All right. Coral Islands that are all connected with a highway system. Yeah, you see that? And these highways, well, they go over the sea a lot. Uh-huh. And it, it stretches for a really long time all the way down to Key West, which <clears throat> has its own airport, which maybe potentially we could see in GTA 6 as well. Uh, but I believe that this scene right here is taken in the Keys. We've got a little seaplane. We've got a cargo ship. Obviously, this is like kind of far away from the harbor, but you know, it makes sense. We could see cargo ships. We've got a lot of other type of boats. Um, this is based on a real life location. One thing I'll quickly want to mention we've got a Zeppelin, guys. That right there is a Zeppelin. Now, I don't know why it looks a little odd, but it is hanging still. You can clearly see that. So, and, and, and what's that? That's not Miami Beach in the backdrop. Could that be potentially Key West? Oh, it looks a little bit too built up, though, to be Key West. This beach, mm, I don't know. If I find this one really hard, but... Yeah, we've got a ton of little islands. Um, let's have a quick look, then. Uh, this highway exists. You can see a broken highway on the right side. Uh, that will not be very hard to find. Let's have a quick look, then. I think people have already found this. I wouldn't be the first. <clears throat> I'm just going to go up. Oh, there we go. Here it is. This is the broken highway. Uh, yeah, Google Earth isn't really working in my favors here, but you can see there is a road here that doesn't connect on both sides, but the bridge is still existing. It is clearly this one. All right. So in real life, this is arguably an hour drive, an hour and a half from uh, Miami. Um, in game, I'm guessing not even five minutes. All right, they've placed this all the way at the top. In fact, <clears throat> it could be that they placed, yeah, most of these things all the way at the top. Because the, yeah, these guys are all low residentials. Like I don't think I don't think that there's tall apartment buildings over here on the keys. It just wouldn't make sense structurally. But okay, let's keep it going. We found this location. It looks really good. Next scene, we got a penthouse scene. On the left side, I think we've got uh, the beach. Yeah, the beach, beach, beach. Uh, we've got a skyscraper. I wouldn't know which one this is. And uh, we got a pool party. <clears throat> you can see some sunglasses, a little cocktail. This is Lucia, I'm pretty sure. A lot of planes. Again, a lot of planes in the background. This building right here looks familiar. Ooh, and this one. This one looks very familiar. Should we have a quick browse? If we can find this area, am I going nuts? Am I going crazy? Is this too much? Um, so we th we believe that that rooftop party is close to the beach side. And I have already, uh, probably about an hour ago, find out found out about this building. But that's not the same one. Ooh, look at that tower in the back. Would that be that one? 
Hmm. These are some overhanging balconies. Nah, but that those weren't those wouldn't be it. Those wouldn't be it, I think. Uh, do we see anything else of the building? <clears throat> no. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find that one, but that's 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 no biggie. It's no biggie. It doesn't really matter. We don't need to find all the exact locations anyway. Uh, it's just cool to see that you know a lot of buildings are easy to find. Some are some are not. Some are not. Ooh, this one? No. All right, let's continue. Vice. Um, not much to say about this one. Uh, it's just obviously similar to the Hollywood sign, but I don't think <clears throat> I don't think this exists in real life. We can see a airport control center. Oh, this is near the international airport, then, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the international airport. We can see the tower, and we can see a radar, which is clearly for the airport system. This is Vice International Airport. Now, if I go to International Airport in Google Earth, where do we end up? And do we see one of those signs, potentially? Uh, that means that it would be based on that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to see that. I, 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 how am I supposed to find that, man? How am I supposed to find that? That's just, just, just too much information. Too much. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the tower. This is what it looks like in real life. You can see it in the backdrop right over here. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Cool. Next scene, dad bot squad. We've got a sugar daddy with American flags uh, on a yacht. Not much to add about this one apart from the fact that we've got a lot of champagne bottles everywhere. It's a little yacht party. Looks cool. Alligators. Oh, this looks fun, isn't it? So these are like the TikTok scenes. Um, <clears throat> although it looks to me like it's it's yeah it, it looks to me like it's posted on social media because we've got hearts and comments up here, but at the same time it almost looks like breaking news on on TV. <clears throat> but I think that looks a little bit different in this game. Yeah, we've just got a pool shot. It's probably near the Everglades. Um with an alligator. I would not be able to find this location, obviously. Therefore, we're continuing. Oh, that's loud. All right, we're continuing, we're continuing. Uh, I wouldn't know where this is either. I think we've got something very distinct in the background, the, that, that, that building. Uh, someone dancing on a car. Here we've got a little car party. Wow. Whew. What's cooking? What's cooking? Got a little phone number, don't call, call that. Say habla, habla espanol. Spanish is definitely going to be something in this game. We've seen a scene where uh, we've got the language Spanish. Ooh, this looks like, <clears throat> looks like they're filming here. In fact, the next shot will be that shot. I wouldn't be able to find out where this is. We do have this on the road. <clears throat> it must be, it must be near the art district, right? So instead of like a regular crossing. A regular crosswalk. <sighs> Crossing Miami. Can I find that? Like, is that something? Something weird? We've got an entire neighborhood called the Crossings. But uh, I don't really care about that. <clears throat> Art Cross. Art Crossing Miami. <coughs> Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think this is if anything significant. Significant. Um, where was that? Where was that art? Miami thing again. That was here. I don't think. I don't see any crossings. First of all, like there's no crossings here. How do you cross the road as a pedestrian? It's definitely based on something in real life. A place where it does not snow. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to find it just like that. It would take me a little bit more time. But that is no problemo. We don't need to find every single little thing. In the next scene, however... Oh, by the way, yeah, cool cars. I'm not going to go too deep into which car is what. They all look cool. They all look really cool. In the next scene... 
We've got that guy who filmed, all right? Look, there you go. Now they're on the roof. So this is that same area. So it is close to downtown, close to downtown. I wish we knew where this crossing was so we could find it. That would be pretty cool. So we kind of have an idea. Here we got the comment section, which, by the way, comment section, press on the like button if you're enjoying the stream. It's late for me here, but I'm enjoying this. This is fun. We've got the gator climbing his way into a store. Everyone is super scared. We've got a little grocery store, an outback grocery store. Actually, this looks like a gas station to me. We've got... We've got gas cars uh, or a gas station thing in the backdrop. And this is a postal collection. And it's not even a gas station. So the gas station is next door. <laughs> I don't know if this is out in the Everglades. It looks to me like on the edge of downtown to wards, more residential. Um, what would an alligator be doing there? Well, I don't know, but that, that happens sometimes. It is Miami, you know? A new billionaire every week. <laughs> That's a cool ad. And some toilet paper. Not much to add about that. Next up, oof, beware of the dog, bro. Chop. Chop from GTA 5 right here in the corner. And apart from that, we've just got a simple uh, uh, a cop scene, uh, basically. My guess, it could be, all right, that Jason works as a cop. Could be. It would be a very Bonnie and Clyde thing, wouldn't it? So... It's a body cam, so you never know. Um, they're just obviously breaking into some place. <clears throat> what does it say? Police on the back. Here we've got another gas station, which is called Arrow. A guy running away from a police officer. Looks rather funny. Here we're starting to see some bad weather. One of the first ones with bad weather. We got uh, a sheriff car. City in the backdrop. This looks like we're out back. Ooh, look at that giant pickup truck. Yeah, those are uh, those are not normal cars. Only in Florida, baby. Only in Florida. And this is another thing you'll only see in Florida. Someone grabbing his uh, crotch. <laughs> uh, Vice City Beaches. Vice City International Airport. <clears throat> We've got a Porsche ad on the billboard. We've got a truck. Road construction. Oh, this is good. 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 You see, some there's some scenes with a lot of information and some with just, well, a little bit less. Hashtag ride out customs. Rap like it's hot. Vice vinyl. Crosstown. These are all like references to certain things in this game. Um, I think rap like it's hot. Hashtag Rado Customs. This could all, it could be, you know, we had Los Santos Customs in GTA 6. We are obviously going to see a vehicle customization center. Also, Rip Rudy, see you in heaven. <clears throat> I remember there was one rapper that died in Miami. You guys might, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's XXX Temptation or however you pronounce it, sorry. Um, XXX, I think he died in Miami. He got shot there. Um, he was obviously blowing up, crazy rapper. Uh, could be a reference, Rip Rudy. See you in heaven, cuz. No uh, Mar-a-Lago yet, though. No Mar-a-Lago. No references or anything. Because, look, he's, he's kind of like uh, dreads, right? Those are dreads. The hair animations are crazy in this game, by the way. I think the way we can find out, because this is obviously that rapper. You can uh, look at the tattoos, and you can compare it to the actual rapper that potentially died in real life. It could also be a fictional person, but you never know. Also, glitter car wrap. Look at that. All right, next up, we've got a very Miami thing. Someone in their um, underwear. Watering the lawn. Yep, just very residential. A little uh, pool in the background. It'll be fun to land from that, or land into that from a plane. <laughs> And here we enter Thrill Billy Mud City, or Mud Club. This is obviously out in the Everglades. <clears throat> Looks like we got a little party over here. We've got a bunch of off-roaders, a quad. We've got a pickup truck on high wheels, I think. We've got some dinghies, um, a little ramp. Just looks like a fun party. Oh, American monster truck over there. See, there, these, some of these scenes are really foggy and a bit 
weird. There's not much to add. Obviously, there's a lot of details. People also think these are kids, by the way, but I don't think these are kids. These are grown men playing in the dirt. They're just deep down in the, with their knees, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. This is actually based <clears throat> on an actual real TikTok, apparently. I haven't seen it myself, but there is a crazy woman out there holding two hammers, threatening other people, and that was obviously in Miami, Florida. And we've got a beach, a beach, I mean, a party. Um, it looks like, it looks like that same mud party in the Everglades, to be honest. All right. <clears throat> this is interesting. This is interesting. We've got a shopping mall, I think. This is definitely from a shopping mall. Yeah, we've got all kinds of brands. Um, I wouldn't know any. They're obviously parody brands. Police chase, semi truck in the background. Here we've got a parody on the um, Corona vaccine creator called Pfizer. It says Fixer over here. And uh, we've got two little guys that kind of look like dumb ways to die characters, which uh, they say it cures emotions. America's favorite. Dis dis I don't even know what it says. <laughs> cures emotions. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just typical rock star, you know, being funny, being funny. All right, we're going to skip through it a little bit quicker. Sheriff. We got Jason, obviously. We got Lucia uh, holding some cash, fat dollar bills. Other than that, there is not much to see. We got a couple of houses there in the backdrop. Not much to see here in this scene either. Just American flags and palm trees. Um, we move on to Weasel News. Now, we recognize Weasel News from pre previous GTA games. One thing I did notice in this scene is that we see an undercover cop car. That's right. This was undercover. Uh, you don't see any uh, lights at the top of it. You only see them at the back. <clears throat> we got a little van. Uh, car crash, not much to add other than that. It looks like we've got a storm. Could there be hurricanes? I don't think so. I personally don't think we'll see hurricanes, but yeah, definitely some kind of storm. It looks like the palm trees are underwater. I don't think they will be, though. I don't think that's physically possible. If they created that, that would be crazy. I don't know what all of this means. It is Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but we got sheriff's office, correctional office in Vice Dale County. Uh, here we're back in uh, residential Miami Vice City. Looking really sick. A bunch of quads and bikes. In the background, we see that same flag that we saw before. It could be a gang sign. It could be a gang sign. It potentially is a gang sign. Um, wanted dirt bike dirt bags. Thugs terrorizing Vice City. Yeah. It's definitely a gang thing. High rollers. This is definitely something to do with those. Um, <clears throat> oh, my God. I love those ads. Look at the backdrop. Look at the backdrop. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we've got some cool ads in the background. Sound for sound. Pickup truck. Uh, there's not much to see here. These scenes are a little dark. But it definitely looks like we've got some kind of gang war going on, to be honest with you. Here we're in a gas station. Uh, Lucia and Jason are doing a little um, friendly robbery. There's a gun shop in the background. It's called Pawn and Gun with uh, a G-Wagon. We've seen it before in GTA 5, so I'm not super surprised. Also, yeah, sorry, in the foreground, we've obviously got some Challenger type of car. But in the background, I'm in, we've got the G-Wagon. I wouldn't know where this is either. I wouldn't be able to find that on, on the on the map. Driving off, looking beautiful. We've got an American sticker on the back. Um, any clues? N9CT4M. I don't think that means anything. <clears throat> WHS shoes, speed limits. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Last but not least is one of the last scenes over here. They're going into a shop. Um, they obviously got their fake Apple Pay. They're like Rockstar version of Apple Pay. Fruity Pay, I think it's called. 
All kinds of ads were clearly in the Everglades. We see a little bit of hills in the backdrop. That looks cool. And there it was. That was my trailer breakdown. Over a hundred things that you probably didn't see before. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. I can't wait for the next trailer. It's probably going to be in months and months and months from now. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.